Hello everyone, today we will be presenting our work, What's Cooking? Characterizing India's Emerging Social Network, Coop. We are researchers from IIIT Delhi and IIIT Hyderabad and this work was done under the guidance of our professor, Dr. Poniranga Kumaraguru. We are thrilled to be presenting at the ARC Symposium. Our work revolves around the Coup social network. Coup is a recent microblogging Indian social network that is very similar in function to Twitter. It was originally launched in Canada, but it now provides support for many Indian languages, such as Hindi, Marath Marathi, Tamil, etc. It is available in India and Nigeria and has a user base of around 15 million users. So let's discuss Coup's rise in popularity. It was initially launched in March 2020, and it primarily leans on two factors to draw users to it. One is its support for regional languages. Ku is marketed as a nascent homegrown platform that encourages discourse in regional Indian languages. Second is its adherence to local laws and support from the government. In February of 2021, the Indian government got into a tussle with the Twitter social network over its moderation policies during the farmer protests. That is really when many politicians and government agencies started posting about Ku and shifting to the same. Here is a timeline graph of users onboarding onto Coup. We see a spike in February of 2021 when these discussions took place. This is also when the IT Ministry of India posted about Coup. Regarding our research questions for the study, we wish to understand the dynamics and the user behavior on this unique platform. Specifically, our three research questions are as follows. What are the characteristics and demographics of Coup users? We see when it is that they join the platform. Next, we study the kind of content that is posted on, on the platform and the languages that are popular. Finally, we understand the network properties of Ku and how they differ from Twitter's. And we try to see, uh, study the communities that are present on the same. Regarding our data collection, we attempted to collect data for as many users as possible. We did this through a snowball approach on the follow follow network. We seeded this uh, approach with the Ku's official accounts and the list of popular accounts such as uh, actors, politicians, etc. We were able to collect data for around 4 million of the 4.7 million users on the platform then. We studied the language distribution on the platform through time. We see that Kannada was initially the most popular, then Hindi rose in popularity, and finally English became most popular. When we study the number of users and posts in each language, we see that Hindi actually supersedes English and there is also a significant portion of Kannada and Telugu present. This shows that the platform has been successful to, in promoting regional languages. Next, we study the content on the platform. Here is a co occurrence network of the hundreds most frequent hashtags that occur in posts. We see hashtags that promote the use of coup against Twitter. For example, there is there are hashtags like coup for India, coup versus Twitter, ban Twitter, etc. There are also many hashtags that display a nationalist sentiment or support the government. There are many hashtags that uh, revolve around Narendra Modi, who is the current PM of India. When we deep dive into the content, we uh, study the engrams in the posts. We see that there is occurrence of biograms like Jai Shri Ram and Rampalji, which refer to the Hindu religion. When we study the Ku descriptions of users, we see that there is reference to their regional identities, such as Gujarati, Marathi, Tamil, etc. There are many prominent personalities that are present on the Ku app. Union ministers such as Mr. Piyush Goyal and Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad are one of the most liked and mentioned users on the platform. Next, we study the user network on the platform. We find that Ku has a high local clustering coefficient. This indicates that it has a strong modular structure and has the presence of various communities. When we draw a follow following network of the verified users on Ku, we find that there are distinct clusters in terms of language. Here is a cluster of the Kannada users, and here is a cluster of English users interspersed with some Hindi users. There are plenty of future directions possible to this study. One is, of course, understanding the political landscape on the platform and how it compares to that of Twitter. Second, we also wish to study the spread of disinformation, hate and propaganda on the same. Finally, it is also relevant to study the posting trends of the same users on Twitter and Ku to understand if Ku is just being used as a mirror of Twitter or if it, or if it is actually offering something very unique. Thank you very much. You can access our full paper here and we are delighted to take some questions now.